Today I'm going to show you how to flash with our OBD flash system and what to expect during the process. First, locate your OBD port under the driver side dashboard. Next, plug your cape turner unit into the OBD port and you'll see it illuminate. Next, key the vehicle on, but don't start the engine. If you're ready to get started, plug the USB into the laptop and it'll try to connect. Being the first time that you're getting connected, it'll ask you to register the unit and also ask you to lock your unit to your ECU. Click Yes. Once locked to the vehicle, you'll be able to connect and start logging. I'm pushing the throttle so you can see that real-time data is coming through. In our Getting Started video, we showed you how to work through opening a base map for the first time and uploading. In this video, we're going to show you what to expect before, during, and after a flash. Once you're ready to flash, click the upload button and you'll be prompted whether or not you'd like to erase the ECU and continue. To flash the ECU, you want to choose Flash Now. Tunes can also be stored into tuning slots. As the process begins, you'll notice a relay click, followed by the check engine light and system malfunction indicators. You may see indicators for emission system, FCW system, airbags, and others pop up on screen during the process. This is completely normal and you do not need to be alarmed. Once the flash completes, you will again hear a main relay click and you'll hear the fuel pump prime. You'll then be prompted to key off and back on to complete the process. At this point, all of your warning lights may have disappeared. To properly power cycle the ECU, you'll want to key off wait for the main relay to click off and then key back on. All remaining system warnings should be on. Once you've keyed off and keyed back on you can hit OK to get the flash status and continue. You've successfully completed a flash. Some modules may need you to drive before they will initialize.